What's going on, y'all? Finally washed the funk off her vehicle. I mean, that thing was nasty. It took two washings. Well, you know, I think I'm going to attain a little bit of peace today because we're getting ready to go get the tires put on her car. But I don't know why, but I feel like this trip is going to result in a trip to Walmart. I just, I don't know why. You ever just get that feeling? About time. I don't know where your sunglasses are. I see no sunglasses in here. Well, they should be. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Oh, my God. Would you open the door? You was walking around in the yard with them on the other day. No, that was Last video. Place. No, I don't know. What? I ain't got one pair of sunglasses. I do. God, this car stinks. Ever since the flood, our car has took on a smell. Y'all see if they're in the... Oh, here we go again. She's going back in the house. All right. Anyway, since the flood, her car has took on a smell. Like, I don't know. I can't even explain it. It smells like old moldy cheese. And, I mean, it didn't get wet inside, but I don't know if it was just where we was driving around or what. And, like, moisture got in or something, but it smells like moldy cheese. We got an hour to kill. What are we going to do? I don't know. Can't be far because they close at 430 and... Yeah, we go too far, we won't be picking the car up tonight. No, so I'm at a loss for words. She don't know. I don't know. Well, we decided to do something productive. We went and bought some sheetrock and some insulation to take to some people. And the sheetrock is mold resistant. Highly important right now because so many people are struggling with mold. Even us, and it just got under our house. It almost got up to our vent. Yeah, I walked in the house yesterday and I was like, What's that smell? You know, and some people I have noticed thinks we're like complaining and we're not. Listen, the only story we can actually tell is our story. Right. Even though it may be minor, you know, it's our story. So that's the only, you know, story we can let you know about. Unless someone else comes forward and says, hey, will you tell my story? Because it's not our story to tell, it's theirs. It's not complaining, it's just talking about her day. What's going on? She must be happy to have her car. She's sitting there putting new air freshener things in it. I ain't sitting down yet. Pre-treatment come in. But I used to let this little mundane stuff you've seen me do today kind of knock me off my feet to the point I didn't do a vlog. So I got to thinking, I'm like, why am I doing that? Because like, this is literally content that I can share. Is it ADD? Yes. Is it all over the place? Yes. But it's our lives. That's why little mama says I don't sit well. I always have so much to do and I want to get it done so I can sit down in the evenings because if I don't get it done during the day, I sit down at night and I start thinking about it and it starts aggravating me. You know how it goes. I also got in my garbage can and some other stuff We're down there at the shop, so let's get this down there. You ever seen a garbage can in a side by side? We still ain't got that driveway fixed, so I'm gonna make it as easy as possible. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna use my side by side, and I don't even know if you can hear me. But I'll tell you one thing I am grateful for is the fact that Lori has stepped up and really took this off my shoulders because now I'm able to get a lot of them little small things that I never was able to get done. I've got most of them done and out of the way. I've got a few more little things that have to be done and once that's all in place, like I'm gonna be able to be freed up to go back to doing regular Bigfoot Chronicles and more. I mean, y'all see already, like I'm in a better mood. I'm feeling better, getting to be more like myself again. That guy's sneaking up on me. It's like a Sasquatch creeping around. This has helped me out more than y'all ever know. All right, so we hillbilly this completely up. He's getting water under his porch from his air conditioner drain. One pipe into another one, back into another one. And down into this one around the curve voila draining away from the house and are looking like a hillbilly miniature golf course i mean you know what they say if it works it ain't stupid you gotta work with what you got around here Moo Moo, what you got? I stopped at the dollar. Do it, do it. What do you got, bud? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oosh. Eat it. That's swilled up. Yeah, 
and I stopped at the Dollar Tree and I was like, I'm gonna get them like five things a piece for a dollar that they can just have fun with and if it tears up, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if some of y'all remember our old four-wheeler. We've had this for a while, several years. I let it set over winter. Didn't change uh, gas, didn't winterize it. Well, the gas went bad, now it won't run. But that's okay. I'm gonna try to get this gas out of it. Add some gas with no ethanol. That gas be gone, look at that. Shoot, it smells awful, dude. About smells like turpentine or something. I think we're getting close to the tank being empty. If I put some regular gas back in it, with some heat treatment, I think that'll actually compensate. I'll be all right. This thing's literally been sitting about two years. I think the last time it ran was in 2020. So it needs some TLC. I'm getting Donnie to work on it for me because of the rear bushing back here on the swing arm's bad. It won't take much to get this thing running. These little ranchers, you cannot kill them. I want it just to really work around the yard with. And this is a little workhorse and that's all I'm concerned for. Yeah, that gas is bad. Look at that, yuck. But you know what you do with bad gas? That's how we roll. Had a bunch of brush up in there anyway. But we're considering getting a wood burner because we got this tree down. We've got all those trees down on the property. We could really save a ton of money by burning wood this year. I mean, we already got the chimney. It wouldn't take much to get them to put a fireplace back in there. As long as the chimney's okay, and I believe it is. Man, it'd be nice to have a good wood burner. I love it. Man, it's warm. Saves you a lot of money. It's cozy. Might be a little rough with the kids, I don't know. Might have to just get a regular wood burner and put in another room. And I've still got this mess to deal with. That is a black locust. Every time you cut through it, you cut, gotta sharpen your saw. Cut, sharpen your saw. My chainsaw is only 18 inches. That stump up there is huge. It'll barely cut through most of this. It's just a little saw. It wasn't meant for anything like this. It was more just to kind of cut little trees around your house, not that ginormous thing. I'll get it done though. I'm getting projects done. And I'm just gonna film it. You're gonna accompany me on my ADD journeys. Who knows what's gonna happen? I don't even know. I wake up, I know I got one task and that one task turns into a hundred tasks and quarters of this gets finished and that. I, somehow I pull it off, I make it work. Am I messing up your TV time? <laughs> <laughs> what? What does it mean? <laughs> Is it funny? Are you just chilling watching cartoons? Oh, oh, oh gee. Is that a stink? <laughs> I do? Yeah. Oh, you don't even want to mess with me because it stinks. It smells like a fire. Moo Moo, what have you found in the carpet? You just totally shutting me down, ain't you? What are you doing? Hey. Hey. You can measure my function probably. Okay, I guess it's cartoon time. Y'all look here, he's getting better at wearing his glasses. Bubba, you got on your eyes? Let's see. Um, Missy? Ma'am? Where did you get the pineapple? Ma'am, where did you get the pineapple? You're one foot tall and one years old. How did you get the pineapple out of the <laughs> Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> you guys got to stop raiding the refrigerator. Did we leave the fridge open? <laughs> it's cold day. Is it good? Can I have it? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, he said. <laughs> Did I bust you out? No, oh, I did that. <laughs> yeah. See, see. Is it good at least? Did you want your breakfast? Mmm, <laughs> is that nummy? So, I mean, I guess if you want pineapple, you get pineapple. I thought she had two chunks of cheese. <laughs> I was like, she's got oh, mozzarella cheese. Oh my goodness, everything in this house is gonna be sticky today from yes. pineapples. Oh my God. <laughs> oh.
Joker. I need out. Need out. Color book. I'm off to another ADD adventure. <laughs> Bug spray. That's where the Lord's led me today. Will we all be glad when this tree's gone? <laughs> That's a lot of hard work, ain't it? Y'all should have heard her grunting trying to go under that tree. You know where to go. Go on up higher. Let's go. Oh, well, crap. Right there. All right. Hold on. No. All right. Step up. There we go. Okay. Hey, uh, sheesh. Will we all be glad when that gets fixed? But anyhow, Sean has gone to Walmart to get bug spray and the bracelets, the bands that help repel the bugs and stuff because you guys, the gnats and mosquitoes, it's miserable. My legs right now, been out here 10 minutes, they're already eat up. Do you all know how much anxiety this high grass up here mm. gives me right now? Sean has not been able to get the lawnmower up here because it is it's totally blocked. The grass, it's getting really high. It makes me a little uncomfortable because snakes are crawling. in here for a minute. I'm oh, good. They just said some new guidelines or poles don't fall down. It's terrible. Gosh. It severely stinks in this car. You guys, I don't know what it is. We have went under every seat. There's nothing under the seats. It has to be something in the carpet. It's foul. I even got this yesterday. It's made it worse. It's made it's now it smells like berry flavored duty. <laughs> it don't it smells like it soured does. milk. No. Yeah, with a berry flavor. It now, yes, it smells like sour milk with a hint of berry. It's, it's worse. It's horrible. We was leaving. But now we're heading back to the house. Please. <laughs> I am positive that our employees want to be paid today, so I got to go get their checks. <laughs> we passed the shop, and I was like, oh, I forgot to uh, get everybody's checks to pay them, so I got to go in here and write some checks. It's Give me the keys. Every time we go down the road, we get to the same exact spot. And Megan goes, oh, I forgot this. Before we pull out, keep in mind, I always, have you forgot anything? Is this everything? Are we good? You ready to go get bye bites? No, don't. No, no. You don't want bye bites? What about you, chick? You wanting some bite bites? This happened. It is pouring the rain once again. We've had what, four days of good weather and now it's right back to... Rain. This has been the wettest three months. I hope this don't transition into winter with this much and it cold and but we get snow and ice storms. By the Farmer's Almanac, we're supposed to have one of the worst winters we've ever had. I don't even want to think about it. I know it. It'll be an ice storm. I guarantee it will Probably. be a nice storm. Well, we had one with the year Chloe was born, remember? Okay, now it is absolutely pouring. We've had to slow way down. That is heavy. It's heavy. Back to the bug spray. Okay, we just dropped the bug spray off. And... We come down here kind of blindly. We weren't sure what they needed exactly, but she just told us, one of the staff members that's working up here at the front lodge, that there is 25 to 30 kids here and they have lost everything. I said, what do you need? She said, well, definitely the bug spray. Well, we got a ton of that. And um, here's some kiddos now. <laughs> love their hearts i said is there she said we don't really need nothing else but sunscreen i was like what about the kids and she's like well they lost everything she said they could really use some crayons and coloring books so 
that's what we're going to do. We're going to get these babies something to do to keep themselves entertained while they're in their campers, their tents. It's raining right now, so that would be the perfect thing to do. Some art supplies, craft supplies. We'll go get some food, and then we will go get these kiddos some stuff. All we've heard is num nums. Are num you ready to get bye bites? Bye bye. <laughs> Are you hungry? Mama. Oh, you want a drink? <laughs> that is your attitude right there. I don't know where she gets that from. Oh, I do. I do. So I got deserted when I needed the most. All the food got here and little mama run off. It all come at once and I was alone. It's, well, there we go. I got me a rib melt. Bubba, are you having fun with that cheese stick? Yeah. You got him corn dogs, got the sampler. Chloe's at yogurt. And strawberries and macaroni cheese. I have chicken, shrimp, and mashed potatoes. You are a mess of different sauces and yogurts. <laughs> <laughs> she does that all the time. Mama, I know where she gets it from now. You? No, you, because you got sauce all over your chin. Do I really? God, is it gone? Yes. So, you guys, we have got Mama. lots of crayons, markers, pencils. <laughs> Sean is filling the buggy with Think that's lots enough. of bubbles. Maybe a few frisbees. <laughs> right here are some individual, in case there's little itty bitties. Hey, did you find you a pumpkin book? You need help? You want that out open? <gasps> Look, it's a spider. Whoa. Oh, that's so sweet, ain't it? Listen, y'all know where she's going. She is making a beeline straight for that fall decoration, I guarantee it. Like, she rushes it every year. And now she's gonna rush fall right in on us, and before you know it, it's gonna be snowing, it's gonna be winter time, and she's gonna be complaining the worst summer. Sissy, she's gonna do it, ain't she? Nailed it. She loves fall. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's fall, kinda-ish. So I figured I'd stop and look at the fall-ish decoration stuff. Rushing it in on us. Cute. I like them. You like it, Sissy? Look at her. You got your pink boot. I have stepped into territory. I don't belong by myself. Bobby baskets. Help. I ended up in the... What? You have to feel me doing this. I kind of walked into that aisle and I kind of... I'm sure they ain't interested in what kind of underwear I wear. I am. Oh, Bubba, you think that's going to make some kids happy? You do? So, we got these too, you guys, because the coloring books, there wasn't enough. These got 18 sheets of the jumbos. That'll give them something to do. That's right. more if for each of them could have two or three sheets a piece. Plus a bunch of bubbles. Tons of bubbles, Fritz. Sidewalk chalk. Sidewalk chalk. The whole campgrounds down there will be decorated by the end of tomorrow. Yeah, because a lot of it's black top, so they'll have fun. Well, we just dropped everything off. You guys, when we first went down there, there wasn't many kids roaming around, but I guess it was too hot because it was like almost 90. But now that it's down to 75, 7.30 in the evening, there was kids everywhere. So, yay. I'm, I think we bought enough. Yeah. Uh, we got extra of everything. She said 25, 30, but I just, we made sure. Because, you know, kids break crayons and stuff pretty easy. A lot of little happy faces. Little pitter-patters running around. That made me so happy. And I dare anybody to say anything about what we done for a child. I done said that. Well, like, listen, I, listen, I've dealt with it for the last month. And I've had my feel. Yeah. Everybody's good with the food and the water and stuff. Their worlds have been turned upside down. They need something to do. If that gives them an, an hour of comfort and fun at night, well worth it in my opinion. You're out awful late eating. Midnight snack. Huh? Is it time for a midnight snack? Y'all should let me get pretty close to her. There's some good clover. I know you like it. 
No, I'm only about 15 foot from her. There's two more. She's got a medium sized one, and then she's got a little spot. You can see the little spot mark. 